how to wire up an Emacs 80 gallon 7.5 horsepower air compressor with a uh, single phase motor. Okay, this is kind of the second step or third step with my brand new Emacs air compressor. First step was to unpackage it from the large box and the pallet, get it off the pallet, locate it. Um, I've done that. It's, uh, it's located nicely to concrete with anchor bolts. Uh, the next phase was to wire it up, and that's what I'm about to show here. It's already wired, but the reason why this video exists is because you don't get manuals with the air compressor, even though it's probably the best air compressor on the market, and it's made in the USA, by the way, um, you don't get user's manuals with it. What they do is they send you email links. Well, uh, after trying on my phone and on my computer, a lot of the links that I wanted um, were unavailable. You get the 404, content unavailable page, 404. And I'm like, what the heck? I tried different browsers. I tried everything, and they just weren't working. And so I was like, well, crap, right? What do I do? There's no YouTube channels out there to wire up this specific unit. Um, and so I just thought I would show how to wire up this box, keep it nice and clean and simple. Uh, one note, uh, for anybody that has a seven and a half horsepower motor, uh, like this bad boy, looks like a jet engine. You have to use no less than six gauge wire to handle the 50 amps. Uh, I think the, the, the crank, uh, so the starting amps is like, I don't know, 36 amps or something. And so a 30 amp breaker won't cut it. You've got to have 50. And for a 50 amp breaker, you've got to have six gauge wire. Um, and it has to be less than 50 feet. Uh, mine's about 30 feet in total uh, from the breaker to this box. So that's done. I have already wired. I'm not going to show any of that. I'm just going to show how to wire this box, which is uh, fairly simple. But you got to look for it. This motor has a uh, magnetic switch, so the wiring varies depend, depending on the system you have. But in order to take this box off, there's one screw down here. You unscrew this box, lift out and up, and this lid comes off. Now my unit came with this. I haven't removed it. It's there. I'm going to remove it now though. But when you, when you register, if you register within 90 days, they will also send you a free air tool. So absolutely, I plan on doing that. The way I chose to wire it, uh, because of my wiring scheme from the wall to the compressor, I ran my wire uh, down and through the bottom center hole. Uh, I used the proper electrical clamps and run it straight up through, up through here. And now I'll zoom in so I can show you the leads. All right, this system has a magnetic switch and it's, it's unplugged, everything's unplugged, so there's no worry about getting shocked. This little uh, white line, uh, white wire here and red wire here, they go to the magnetic switch. They are located, as you can see here, in 1L1 and 3L2. This is where your 220 volt power comes in. It's gonna come in and one power is gonna go to the 1L1, and the other one, in my case black, is gonna go to the 3L2. You just have to keep these two wires. It's, it's a little, these are little bitty wires and these are huge wires. So when you unscrew this first time, these little guys, well, this one was okay, but the red one kept popping out. So it, you just have to finagle. You've got to get them both in there. You've got to get the big six gauge wire and the other wire. But uh, one power goes to 1L1, the other one goes to 3L2. Now, as for the ground wire, I looked all over this unit looking for a ground symbol, uh, you know, where the heck do I, you put the ground? Well, it's just not there, right? It's absolutely not there. So finally I found the ground that came in and it is, it's wired. Let me rotate, let me see if we can see it this way. There it is down there. It is rotated, it's on the back side. It's behind all my wiring. And so it's kind of hidden. Well, I still, I was like, okay, do I, do I tap into that? Or what? And so I was looking everywhere. Well, it turns out, and you, it's hard to see, but the ground wire, and these are big wires, so they don't just bend out of the way. The ground wire is behind my, behind my wires right here, directly in front of my finger. So let me see if I can get a better view in here. There it is. Uh, so there's the ground on the back of the box. So ground there, 
one 110 power into 1L1 and the other one into 3L2 and done. Put the box back on and you're wired up and ready to go. So that's it for wiring the unit. Uh, I still have to hook up my uh, filters, my lubricators, get the hoses up and running, but I figure this guy will be up and running today. Uh, I don't think I'm going to show any of that because there are loads and loads of videos out there. Uh, I just wanted to show the wiring. So uh, I hope that helps somebody out there. And, you know, thumbs up for Emacs air compressors because not only um, I believe they're the best on the market and they're the quietest on the market. Maybe I'll do a video on that. But um, until later, thanks for tuning in. Bye just now.